What's up guys? Time for another Daily Dose of Dave. It's real easy to kind of fall in a trap. See something that somebody else has and you think that that would be cool. Like, hey, this person benched 405. I want to bench 405. Or this person started their own business. Or just got their PhD. Or, you know, we kind of look at it like it's a menu. Like, oh yeah, I'll lose 20 pounds. I'm going to bench 405. I'm going to get a PhD. I'm going to get a new Corvette. Whatever it is, right? And then we start going down that road and we're like, yep, they did it. I can do it. I'm going to follow how they did it. What they have that I don't have, and I'm guessing you might not have either, is the emotional connection to it. What it represents to them, you never see. You never see it on a scoreboard. You don't see it in a gold medal. You don't know why they did what they did. And without that emotional connection, you're always kind of coming from a place of lack. Like, why don't I have it? Somebody else have it. I want it. And you can't move forward from a place of lack. You need to be in a place of abundance. And a lot of things that we think we want, we want because of how we think we're going to feel once we have them. But without that emotional connection, it never becomes part of your identity. And it wasn't who you were in the first place. So even if you get that thing and you make those sacrifices and you go to school and you pay the money or you go to the gym or you hire a trainer, whatever that road looks like, you start your own business, you go out, you buy a bunch of supplies, you learn a bunch of skills. Without that emotional connection, without that identity, if it doesn't mean anything to you and you just thought, hey, that would be cool. Once you get it, you're going to be like, man, I spent all this time climbing this ladder just to realize it's the wrong ladder. And now you got to start over again. Or you get halfway through it and you feel like a failure because you don't want to put the time in. You don't want to get up early. You don't want to make the sacrifices to have that thing because you never really wanted it in the first place. You know, there's an old saying that says like, oh, your only competition is yourself. And I was thinking about that on the way home from the gym and I'm not competing against myself. It's more like myself is trapped in this icky, sticky mud. And every time I go to the gym, it's like I'm peeling back a layer or I'm still carrying around a label that I've had on me for 20 years that wasn't mine in the first place. Somebody else put it and I'm pulling that Velcro off. I'm not competing against myself to make myself better. You, I, everyone already is amazing. You're already what you need to be. We just need to peel that sticky, icky crap off of us so that we can see that. So have an amazing weekend. Find what you're passionate about. Find what you're emotionally connected to. Find what really makes you think it would change your life if you had it. Because everything is going to cost a price. And go after it with everything you have. You're amazing. I love and respect you all. Have an amazing day.